Hey, so let's get this party started. So, hey everybody, Novelist Krim here, and welcome to Writing Company and Motivation. This is an accountability stream where we get together and we do some writing. This show is usually hosted on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, so you should certainly look forward to that. And if you haven't, I recommend you leave a follow because there's going to be a lot more. Anywho, um, so let's go on to tonight's discussion. Now, Usually I'd like to write journal entries about like, um, you know, what's going on in my head. Um, and usually I like to like, you know, talk about either wisdom that I come across or, uh, you know, discussions that pertain to writing, you know? And I've been working on uh, a lot of stuff for writing, but I think the thing that's on my heart the most, or the thing that kind of like pops out to me uh, a ton is uh, the fact that like um, one of my friends and I kind of like uh, got into like a little bit of a spat you know and uh mostly i think the the reason why like i'm upset is that like i kind of dealt with this person's flaw for quite a while but i never really like you know took the time to like uh you know point out the flaw and it's mostly because this person's like um extremely uh what do you call it kind of stubborn you know they really don't want to listen toward uh <laughs> you know if, if the sky is green and they say it's green like, like you know they're they're not you can't change their mind you know what I mean so like trying to convince them otherwise is kind of uh, exhausting and you know to be honest if I try to like speak I feel like my ability to talk is not as good as writing to be honest because when I get upset my emotions kind of like uh, you know swirl me up and uh, it makes any articulation almost impossible like I, I just trip over my words and I'm trying to like you know explain the logic while also being pissed off and it's like you know it's impossible but with writing you know you can collect you kind of collect your thoughts and you're really able to like uh, you know punch it through so I had a you know I kind of like let this guy know uh, what's going on and um, you know I guess for for the first time in a long time I've just been like brutally honest and I might have pissed him off but I think like the truth is is that you got to be like honest with yourself you got to be honest like uh you know with how you feel about certain things and try not to let things get too big before they like you know explode into a dam and also i think that there's something to set uh to be said about like you know a measure of kindness uh that you should treat your fellow man with right um you never know in your life who's going to be the person who donates the kidney to you you never know who's going to be saving your life, who's your, who's going to be your next best friend, who's going to be that person who takes you in when you're sick or, you know, you're down on your luck, or who's that person who's going to teach you a new lesson or be a lover, you know? So like, uh, I think that it is, it is important to just treat everyone with a, with the measure of kindness and respect, not easily given, of course, not in terms of respect, but like, you know, definitely like a civil kindness and, you know, even if um, a person like frustrates you, I think that it's important to remember that like uh, a lot of times people have like a, a nature about them, you know, that they're geared toward being a certain way. And um, sometimes you have to like choose whether or not that is a flaw that you're willing to live with, right? And sometimes it can grate down to the point where it like, you know, makes you explode, I guess. But it's very difficult to try to train, uh, change a person. It's even, you know, just, it takes a lot of energy just to change ourselves, you know what I mean? So imagine trying to change another. So I think that, uh, I think that there's no reason to be, you know, I don't know, I guess like hostile toward those you call your friends, you know what I mean? That's the thing that I'm thinking about. That's the thing that's on my mind. Um. Appreciate the people around you, you know? But don't get pushed around. Don't let, uh, you know, don't don't be afraid to, like, stand up for yourself if, um, if you feel like something is, like, I guess, like, wrong, you know what I mean? Because, like, in some ways, even if it hurts and even if it's, like, rough to call attention to something that, like, nobody wants to talk about, Sometimes you're doing that person a favor, you know? Sometimes you're showing them um, and saving them from something that's far worse down the line, you know, in real life. So being honest 
and trying to like uh you know make this world a little bit of a better place we already get enough shit from work there's already enough assholes in the world so try to be kinder you know that's like basically what's on my mind right now um if we were to move on to the topic of writing however let's uh let's consider where we're at so a little while ago i kind of finished up uh or at least supposedly finished up chapter 13. i feel like the novel needs a little bit more work in this chapter mostly because i'm trying to make sure that the one of these characters are likable i want them to uh you know come across as alive um we're trying to demonstrate the flip between the uh the old world and the new world and we also want to give the main character a chance to experience the things that he hasn't really had time for. The past few chapters have been almost dedicated to like, um, you know, a speed rush of like different types of events and stimuli, like, you know, fighting, uh, imprisonment, all these other crazy things that are happening, but he's never had time to like really enjoy the sweeter, wonderful things in life. So I think that this part of the world is trying to, you know, kind of take his bitter heart and show him that, you know, that there could be a, way, a better way, even though uh, the circumstances that he's in, it's not, you know, it's, it's not exactly favorable, but we'll see. So, um, in terms of that, I don't really think that there's any, like, particular writing challenge that I'm dealing with, other than the fact that, like, um, I notice that a lot of times when I'm working on these, uh, these bits, I get a little bit, um, scared as to, like, you know, how far I'm deviating away from, like, you know, the story's plot, or... You know, I don't want it to be like, uh, you know, like slow down a scene. Like, I guess, I guess trying to maintain the pacing is a little bit, uh, spoopy. But we'll see. Anywho, I think that, uh, they were pretty much settled on, um, like discussions for today. I don't know if there's any, like, questions or, uh, things that are going on, but, um, yeah. It's been a crazy uh, couple of days, though, I gotta say. Um, I've been doing like a lots and lots of overtime, so I feel like a uh, mild anxiety uh, based on like, you know, not being able to do the things that I want to do. Like, um, you know, I want to get out of work at a reasonable time. I want to um, kind of feel like separated from the, uh, the work that I'm in and then being able to like, you know, work on the novel and have time to clean and um, even like go outside and breathe and be like in the pool or something, you know? So it kind of sucks that uh, <laughs> things have been so crushing lately. It's mostly because um, one of the workers uh, decided to quit and now I'm the only worker left. So we have um, we have to deal with kind of like that new thing happening. It's a little odd. Okay, so. Thank you guys so much uh, for stopping by. I really appreciate the uh, love and support. It's a lot of fun doing these types of streams, um, being able to kind of like, um, kind of like hang out and kind of come to terms with like what's going on with life and also working through the uh, novel and getting things you know, moving along swiftly. I think that uh, this year is going to be a special one. Um, really looking forward to my 30s and I'm trying to make sure that like, uh, we can get this uh, novel underway and um, start building toward the future that we desire to have. So yeah, anyways guys, I really appreciate it. Take it easy. And uh, as always, stay passionate.